Today we're gonna keep on exploring cachaça cocktails. Hi, my name is Isis. On my bartending love, passion, and energy from Miami to the world. Today we're gonna explore cachaça cocktails. Actually, we're gonna keep on exploring them because I already did one amazing video, and you can check it right here. And not one, it was a couple I guess. So you can find others on my channel. And today I'm gonna explore even more cachaça cocktails because I love cachaça and you know, cachaça is my soul drink. So I'm always excited to find something new. And it will be something new, not just for you. Maybe it's not new for you, but for me it will be definitely something new. I've never made these cocktails before. And today is the first time so I will be making and I will be trying these cocktails for the first time so let's go to the first cocktail and the first new cachaça cocktail is called Royce or maybe Royce I'm not sure I'm not native or even not native Portuguese uh, speaker I don't know this language so I'm trying to pronounce as I believe it should so it's Royce or Royce uh, excuse me if I'm not pronouncing it right and this cocktail actually is named after very famous jiu-jitsu fighter Royce Gracie and martial arts is all also very close to me and I love them so this cocktail is very connected in both ways uh, to my life so let's make this cocktail together and let's taste it for the first time we are going to serve everything in highball style of glass and I'll be shaking everything. Even in the recipe, it doesn't say shake, it says mix, but I will make it a little bit my way, but we'll follow the recipe exactly just to taste what people who created this cocktail wanted to show. And the first ingredient is three slices of three different citrus fruits orange slice, lemon slice and slice of lime also one spoon of sugar only one and now we have to model everything so it's similar to cake Lavinia from the first hand but we are modeling three different citrus fruit instead of one and if you want to see how to make an amazing cake just check out this link so I'm modeling all the fruits and now I'll be pouring some other ingredients one of them is of course our MVP today it's cachaça and I'm using this our cachaça it's an amazing brand it's an amazing cachaça you can see my tasting right here in this link they have seven kinds and uh, you know I'm not connected to this cachaça anyhow except with my soul dedicated to it because it's so amazing product they are not paying me anything except maybe a present for some cachaça <laughs> two ounces and I'm using a bit aged Amburana cachaça aged in Amburana wood uh, as I mentioned there are seven kinds of them it's uh, Prata, it's non-aged, then it's non-aged Postil and then there are like five or even six now aged in different woods so it's very amazing I'm just saying this because I'm excited to share when I find some exciting products and this cachaça is really that if not this cachaça we wouldn't have this video that we're having right now and if you're watching it that means you are interested in this as well and guava juice one ounce now of course we have to put a lot of ice let's do it magic way and give it a good stir with passion love and Here we go, I'm very excited to taste this cocktail as I'm always excited to discover more new cocktails, especially kachas. I'm not going to strain because there are lime, lemon and orange inside. I'm just going to pour everything, dirty pour. Exact, full glass, small garnish, lime veg, 
you can choose orange or lemon it's totally fine I choose lime and also cocktail cherry very simple very easy green with red place nice to look nice in the cocktail and we have an amazing cocktail okay let's try it it's amazing but you know cachaca is always amazing I recommend to be friendly past the life strong and first try smells amazing looks nice nice color wow wow very nice very fresh reminds me Cuprinia it's my favorite cocktail now you know <laughs> So it's very similar, it's kind of twist of Cuprinia. It's very nice, very fresh for summer, for winter. Because anyway, you sit at home very warm in winter and you can drink an exotic drink. Let's move to another one. Cheers, guys. And second our cachaça cocktail is called Le Deoc. Excuse my Portuguese, <laughs> maybe I'm pronouncing totally incorrect, but it is as it is. Maybe one day I'll learn and I'll go to Brazil to drink Brazilian cachaça cocktails in the native country of this amazing drink but today is as it is and to translate this name it's called Jaguar milk and this cocktail is served undiluted and without ice so usually I shake or stir my cocktails to dilute them and to chill them but if we say like that let's follow the recipe and let's see what it is I'm gonna serve everything in legless wine glass. I'm going to pour everything straight in there and we will have a cocktail. Let's do it. So first ingredient is of course MVP cachaça and I'm pouring one and a half ounce. Second ingredient is milk, but as I'm doing my cocktail splice base, so I'm gonna use almond milk. I'm gonna use the one from the shop, but if you wanna know how to make any plant based milk in the world, just check out this link. I made a video some time ago on how to make any plant based milk in the world. And third ingredient is cacao liqueur, one and a half ounce as well gonna be very sweet and as it's gonna be room temperature so it's gonna be even sweeter I mean not even sweeter it's not just going to be less sweeter because when you chill drink they get less sweeter when the temperature is uh, lower when they get warmer they back to their normal sweet I guess like that would be more correctly and fourth ingredient is condensed milk and I'm using plant-based condensed milk which I made myself how to do it? Check out this link. Double less than other ingredients because all of it was equal. One and a half, one and a half, one and a half. Or you can make one, 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 I mean, and this double less. So, so it's uh, three fourths of an ounce. And now I'm gonna stir it to blend together. And this cocktail is uh, a drink to start uh, a celebration called Festa Junina. I don't know what the festival is, but I read like that. But one day I wish to go in Brazil and to experience all the festivals, many cachaças, many cachaça drink, and then I could tell you more things about that. Now I'm discovering everything the first time as well. I just using my bartending skills that I gathered through more than 10 years and that's why it's easy to make for me these drinks but taste and uh, combinations is quite new for me because I'm from Lithuania, it's in another part of the world Brazil is quite far from that so I was never into that so much but today I really am and a small garnish I will do it just a cinnamon or we also do chocolate or sometimes serve no garnish. Just a couple of sprinkles or just portions. Here we go. 
Jaguar milk. It smells cinnamon now, of course. Okay, I will have this market chasa for cinnamon now. Okay, this sweet, sweet thing. <laughs> it sounds really sweet. Let's taste it. Mmm, actually, it's very nice. It reminds me of uh, this uh, Bailey's Almande. A, a bit, because it's also almondy thing, because I use almond milk. Yeah, it very much reminds me of almond uh, Bailey's. Mmm. Wow, very nice. I couldn't drink a lot of this. I'm not much of the dessert drink drinker, but I could drink one with coffee or maybe just without coffee. Very easy, very nice. Cheers, guys. And the third our cocktail with cachaca today, it's called Makonaima. It's very exotic name, at least sounds for me like that. And it's kind of sour, it's kind of daiquiri, as it's rum cocktail, as cachaca is rum as well. But it has a bit of fernet in it that makes him a bit different cocktail. I'm really excited to try it. So let's get to the business. I'll serve everything in double rock glass, or I think we could serve it even in a raw glass, but I don't have a raw glass at home, only double raw glass. <laughs> so I'll serve that and we will have to shake the cocktail. All ingredients straight into the shaker. First one, good cachaça. This time I'm gonna use balsamo. It's uh, another wood, another wood cask that our cachaça was aged for, I think, around two years. And this will have a little bit different flavor. Of course, I would like to try it with different cachaças, but this time let's do it and try the cocktail as a well. whole. One and a half ounce. Second ingredient is fresh lime juice. It specifies the heavy lime, but I have this lime and I don't know where it came from at home. So I guess it will be okay. Two thirds of an ounce. Oh. And sugar syrup. How to make sugar syrup? Check out this link. It's very simple, of course. It's very bar basic, but you have to know it and you have to do it if you want to make some coffee. And I will pour like five, six of an ounce. Uh, it specifies like that. It's a bit difficult to measure it. So it's a bit, bit less than one ounce, but more than two thirds. <laughs> Somewhere in between. Of course, it won't change the flavor very much if I would do a bit different proportions, but I want to try these coffees exactly as they were written that I found them on the internet. And Fernet, Fernet Branca, it's a bitter, uh, it's very nice bitter, of course if you love bitters, I do. And uh, we have to do one pour of an ounce, just a bit, because otherwise it will kill all the flavors by its herbs, so it's inside. And now of course we put a lot of ice, and love, passion, energy. And a good shake. And in the recipe, it's written that we don't need any ice to serve it, so I'm just straining it straight into the glass. And for the garnish, I will use a wheel of light. Here we go. Simple. Looks simple. Let's try it. Oh, smell cachaca, citrus. I do smell fernet. Yet, let's see. Mm. Very good sour. Mm. Now I feel a bit of fernet, not too much, and that I like, but it's not too much, it's not killing my cachaca. 
<laughs> it is given additional depth of flavor. Great, simple, sour, very nice coffee. Cheers, guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope it was interesting and informative for you as it was for me because I learned new amazing cachaca cocktails that I could be able to do now in my bar. And I hope you have fun watching this video. So please show me some support, subscribe my channel, like it, share with your friends, and we will discover more cachaca and not just cachaca cocktails together. And of course, if you know more cachaca cocktails, or if you are from Brazil, and of course you should know a lot of cachaca cocktails then, so please share in the comments below. I would really like to make them and to try them. Because I love cachaca, it's an amazing drink, and I would like to know everything about it. Thank you very much, I love you, and I see you in next video.